is Nick with LogosByNick.com, and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can wrap text around an object using Inkscape. And if you'd like to learn more about how Inkscape works, be sure to check out the Inkscape Master Class, which is a collection of over 50 videos where I go over every single tool and feature in Inkscape and I explain what it is and demonstrate how it works. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check that out. So we're going to go ahead and get started here in Inkscape. As you can see, I already have my subject image uh, imported onto the canvas. I just want to set up the documents so that we're all working with the similar tools on the page here. I'll go, to, uh, I'll go over here to where it says Align and Distribute. I'll click on that to open that menu. I'm going to want Last Selected Chosen. And then I'll open up the Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu with that button right there. So the idea here is... I want the text to be in this area, but I want it to flow around the edge of the headphones here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I'm going to manually create a shape in here where I'd like the text to be, and then I'm going to flow the text into that shape. So what I have to do first is I have to create an outline of this subject image here. So to do that, I'm going to grab the Bezier pen, which is over here, or you could press B on the keyboard. And I'm just going to zoom in over this top left area right here by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel a couple of times. And I'm just going to click and create some points going around the edges of the subject here. And if you'd like to move your page around, you can just press down the mouse wheel and move the mouse like that. And I'm just going to create some very rough edges going around the outside here. I'm just doing this quick. I'm not making this an exact, uh, an exact tracing. We're not cropping this out or anything like that. It doesn't have to be exact. Uh, you could be very inexact like I'm doing here. And once you're finished tracing your uh, your subject here, you can go ahead and close the path by clicking on the original point right there. And we will now have that path. Uh, what I'm going to do now is turn this green, so I'll just click on the color green to make that green because I'd like to be able to see where this is up against the image here. I want to get rid of that black outline by holding shift and clicking on the X. And I want to take the opacity of this and bring this down about in half just so I could see exactly where it is beneath the object that we just created. So I'm when I create this text, I don't want the text running exactly to the edges of the headphones here. I want them there. I want there to be a little bit of padding around the edges. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to take this shape and make it a little a little fatter, just so it has some padding for the text there. What I'm going to do is go to Path uh, Dynamic Offset, and once you click on that, you're going to get this little node up here. And I'm just going to pull that node up up like that. Click and drag that up. That right about there is what I'm looking for. I want the text. The text is going to be running to the edge of wherever this green line is. So that's where, uh, that's about where I'd like the text to be. I'm going to go ahead and finalize that by going to Path, Object to Path. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the Squares and Rectangles tool. And I'm going to create a rectangle going over the image here like this. Maybe I'll make this one blue so I can see this better contrasted against the green. Now let me take the Select tool, let me bring this down one step by clicking on the button that says Lower Selection One Step. I'd like that to be beneath the green object there. And let me just hold Shift and click on the image, and I just want to center that up on the uh, vertical and horizontal axis like that. Go ahead and click off of that to deselect everything. If you notice, I made the blue rectangle slightly less uh, sli slightly smaller in height than the uh, the green object here. The green object is sticking out on the edges here because I want the I want the text to be in this left side area. I don't want the text going out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this green object, hold shift, click on the blue object, and go to path, difference, and then I'll go to path, break apart, and then I can click off of that to deselect everything and just take this object and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. And what I'm left with here is this object. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some text and I'm going to flow it into the frame here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the text tool. Well, you know what? First, what I want to do is click on this object and go to Path Simplify. That's important, otherwise the, uh, the, the function we're going to use to flow the text into that path is not going to work. So let me click off of that to deselect everything. Let me grab the text tool, and I believe I have some placeholder text copied to my clipboard. Let me see. There we go. I just copied the, uh, the description of Inkscape from the uh, Wikipedia page. I'm just going to use that text. And uh, yeah, that looks pretty good right there. I'm going to grab this select tool now. I'm going to take this text, hold shift, click on the uh, blue object right there, and go to text, flow into frame. And there, as you can see, it, f it flowed it right into that f uh, frame right there. But we're not quite done yet. Uh, what I want to do now is I just want to edit this text a little bit. So let me click off of it to deselect everything. I want to grab the text tool, which is over here. I want to click on the text, and I want to make this a little smaller so that there's more text in the frame there. So I'm going to maybe drop this down to 10 and see how that looks. 
Okay, that, that looks a little bit better, but there's not enough text in there, so I'm going to go ahead and paste some more placeholder text in there. Right there, that's pretty good right there. And uh, if you notice here, the text isn't running all the way to the, to the edge of this blue, the blue right side over here. So to fix that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button up here that says justify, uh, where it says justify only flowed text. That's going to force the text to, to space out so that it takes up the entire width of the object there. So go ahead and click on that. And there you go. It flows it right to the edge there, which is what I'm looking for. And now I can go ahead and make that text white because that's the color I'd like it to be. I can click on the uh, select tool, click off of the canvas just to deselect everything. And I want to grab just this blue object right here. You got to be careful you don't grab the text object by, by mistake. You'll know you have the right object selected by the uh, color in the stripe down here. This little stripe is blue, meaning I have the blue object selected. And once I have that selected, I don't want to delete this. I just want to turn off the visibility of it. So I'm going to click on this red X right here. If you delete that object, it's going to take this text and remove it from the uh, from the frame that you put it in. So it's, it's important that you don't delete that. Just leave that as it is. Now let me press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And as you can see, we have accomplished the effect we were trying for. We have taken our text and we have flowed it around the edge of this uh, object here. So uh, I think that should do it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.